My name is Harriet Ngok and I'm the CEO founder of Harriet's Botanicals, a company that manufactures and retails traditional indigenous medicine for the urban, African and diaspora market and related supplements. I founded Harriet's Botanicals in response to a need. The first need was for myself. I was going through endometriosis, a very painful condition, and this had been happening since I was 16. Due to this very painful condition, later on in 2017, a lady introduced me to a set of roots, barks, and herbs that helped to eliminate my pain completely. I then went on to give this to other friends. Due to the high demand for alternative medicine and alternative therapies in reproductive health for women, the product that I actually created, Arorwit, which is a decoction of eight roots, uh, herbs, trees and branches, this decoction actually went viral as so many women are struggling with issues of fibroids, endometriosis, adenomyosis, PCOS, hormonal imbalance, uh, pelvic inflammatory disorder, urinary tract in infections, primary infertility, secondary infertility, the need is huge and at least 47% of women struggle with at least one or more reproductive health issues. I celebrate Harriet. I celebrate uh, her because she has really solved a problem for women. And this is what we are looking for as women, where we are not only solving our own problems, but even creating impact for other women. Harriet Shabet has been um, an inspiration to many, uh, touching from her story and also being able to come up and uh, come up with this uh, innovative brand that has really really helped women helped men helped people around not only in Kenya but also around the world I then went on to create a product for men the equivalent of the women's that helps with prostate inflammation, prostatitis, and benign prostate hyperplasia, UTIs, and all the things affecting the reproductive health condition for men, including low sperm count and zero sperm count, poor libido, erectile dysfunction, and related disorders. Actually, we get to test uh, one of the medicine. They are so much good, and we trust they are doing perfect. By 100%, they treat different diseases. And uh, yeah, we are very happy that we get to know. And uh, when we go back to our various places, we can tell. And uh, I would like also to tell the world, Kenya in general, that uh, these uh, herbalists, they are really, really doing a perfect job. The company continued to blossom and post-COVID, we also created a respiratory health solution, a natural solution, 100% natural, organic, something that is African, something that is sourced here, we manufacture here, we distribute here out of our 15 outlets. We also have a gut health product and gut health also came, we went from reproductive to respiratory to gut health and finally any ailments related to insulin resistance including cardiovascular issues, diabetes type 2, joint issues, thyroid issues, anything related to menopause, hot flushes, night sweats, and all the uncomfortable things that are happening to us as we grow from young people, from children, all the way to our late age. <laughs> Oh, 
So the Ministry of Culture has done a tremendous job in bringing us to this point and at the moment we are a cultural heritage business based on the fact that this is traditional medicine, indigenous culture at play and indigenous knowledge systems. Tuko hapa kuhamasisha pia wakaaji wa hapa eh, situ metoka mao na mao pia kulikuwa na musitu. Na tumeanza group ya kwanza tuwa kurudisha ule musitu wa mao uwe green tena ndio tuweze kupata mvua ndio tuweze kupata maji na pia tuweze kupata dawa zetu za kienyeji leo hii tuko hapa upande wa Narok West eh, kuhamasisha pia wale wazee na wafukaji kwamba pia wahifadhi misitu na misitu tunaomba sana iwe na, iwe misitu ya kienyeji sababu misitu ya kienyeji ndio ina, inaenda vizuri na sehemu hii We felt that it was very important to grow these medicines ourselves, to understand how these plants work, to understand the climate, to see the difference when it rains or when it's hot, to test the soil, to understand how the soil should actually be virgin, that is actually where you get the best traditional medicine, and to also now initiate quality control where we are. Our model farm is where we do our experiments, where we learn more about the crops, where we can observe them, and where we can get the children's program and the community involved so that they can actually create the same spaces in their compounds on their farms and in this way it becomes beneficial for everybody we benefit and the community benefits and more and more kenyans begin to grow traditional medicine traditional indigenous trees for use for the future my director we to sasa wame fanya kasi ya mana sana kwa sabu wame introduce ama wame wame batia sisi kasi ya mana juu tumepanda eh, miti ya kienyeji po almost eh, avanega tuko na jukumu yetu sasa kuchunga hii kasi ama kufanilia kuchunga dawa ya director wasapo tunapata muhimu ama tunapata tuseme mkati ya kila siku we are in this uh, stand for ariets botanicals we have been listening to the presentations about uh, how they can assist people with various challenges, ladies, challenges to do with their uh, fibroids, challenges to do with diabetes. And uh, from what I hear, it's quite uh, useful products. And uh, they are based on the herbs, based on the plants, which really have been tested over the years. And we are happy to see that uh, from those discussions, they can really help a lot. I would say at Harriet's Botanicals, at least 60% of our clients struggle with this PCOS condition. And we are happy to report that we've been 90% successful simply by reversing the lifestyle related condition, where we help clients to manage insulin. We talk about diet and intervention all the time, a low carb diet, and just keeping an eye on how much sugar you are taking and what you are eating on a daily basis. At the same time, helping them to reverse the hormonal imbalance caused caused by the condition by giving the marrow to it so we have like a multi a multi multi-pronged approach where we will give you the traditional medicine itself we will also give you a food a rongori to go with chepin darwet we will also give you a supplement to boost ovulation and and to actually help you get pregnant or become fertile that's our super fertility and we will then then advise you on your diet diet on exercise on sleep on stress any related lifestyle condition that might be affecting you we want to see women succeed in their lives in their personal lives in their relationships in their financial lives in their work life in their family life family is everything in african culture and it is important to give women the opportunity to have balanced hormones children if they want to and basically a good feeling wherever they are and however they are